I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now there is a new headmaster tape somewhere in this school. We gotta find it. I have no idea where it is. For all we know, it could be between the headmaster's sweet booty cheeks, but we are gonna find it in this episode. But before we do that, there's actually a couple other things that I wanna try right now. So here's what I wanna do. If neither Saku nor Inkyu are attending school, Oko will no longer go to the rooftop and try to spy on them. Added a few new models to the rooftop, strategically placed for upcoming tactical espionage action gameplay. Ooh la la. The player can now use Infochan's services menu to make a student leave school for the rest of the day. Updated the dance machine model, still not ready to elaborate about its purpose yet. And the main thing I wanted to check out added another headmaster tape. And lastly, I've put a couple of props into the photography club. I'm using that club as a testing ground for new models, so if you see weird stuff in there, don't mind it too much. The weird props will be moved to other locations eventually. Now before we get into all these shenanigans, I just want to shout out Yandere Dev. He said it's his four year anniversary of making this game. God damn! So I just want to thank you for making a great game and good luck with the rest of the way. But I don't want to get too sappy, so we're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up! Kiss, here we go. So the first thing that I want to check out is this stuff right here. What is that? Which obviously is used so we can get a little bit stealthy stealthy like this. And maybe, just maybe, nope. You can't go on the walls? Okay, I thought maybe like we can go behind these walls and peek a little bit, but I'm gonna try to eliminate these girls right away. So let me look down the list of all these Easter eggs. Which one haven't I tried in a long ass time? I've done a lot of Falcon mode. I've done a lot of One Punch mode. Hunger mode, I can do hunger mode. I could eat some ass right now. Bruh. So we're gonna walk up to this boss's sister. Eat her guts out, there we go. Oh wait, she's ready to fucking fist fight me? This ain't UFC girl? No, oh my no. god. No. This girl's a freaking savage. I literally just put on a freaking banana yellow coat, started eating her sister like it was Korean barbecue, and then she just pins me like it ain't no thing. That girl's a beast. Okay, so hunger mode clearly didn't work, and I think that's why I never go for anything but falcon mode when I'm trying to kill somebody. So this time we're actually gonna go one punch mode, and I'm gonna bring my fist back and punch. What the fuck, really? Okay, here we go again. Bam, what? Are you serious? I punched you right in your titty. Come on, one punch that ass. Uh, guys? What is going on here? Okay, so hunger mode and one punch mode aren't working out for me. I don't know what I did to upset the Yandere simulator gods, but we're gonna go with good old falcon mode. And then we are gonna bring that ass back and boom! There we go. And yeah, this ain't hunger mode no more, baby. She's scared of that shit. Here we go. Boom! Oh my god, I'm missing shots. I am missing shots. Okay. Gotta connect, gotta connect, and in the ass. Oh, 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 I got her right in the booty cheek. Okay, so they're dead. Let me end the day. And now that Oka has nobody to spy on, let's fast forward right now, and let's see where she goes. Guys, I actually just realized something. I eliminated both of the Basu sisters, right? And then I'm like, where's Oka gonna go? She's obviously gonna go to the occult club. What the actual fuck? But you know what? Maybe there's an off chance that she'll like sit next to Senpai or maybe she'll go to the nurse's office. Now, nah, who the fuck am I kidding? She's definitely gonna go to the occult club, but let's just confirm it, you know? So let me fast forward time and let's follow that ass to see where she goes. what I tell you guys? What did I freaking tell you? The next thing that I want to check out is using Infochan services to make a student go away for the rest of the day. They just leave the school. Like, I want to know how the fuck we can make that possible. So sending a student home costs 10 penny shots? God damn, that's a shitload. Okay, so Infochan will contact the student and give them fake devastating news about a family member. The student will leave school immediately? Is that even possible? When I was in school, I couldn't just leave when I wanted to. Like, if I heard that my cat died, I couldn't just leave the premises. A security guard would be like, bring that ass back here, boy. But we are going to send a student home right now. Now. And I guess I don't have any student unlocked. I just got these black silhouetted bald bitches. All right, let's just use it on this guy right over here. He's looking smug. He's looking like a rat bastard. So what let's use the service. Send this mother sucker home. Oh, there you go. Okay. I don't know why it was still like marked like they couldn't identify the student. So let's send this guy home. The student is about to receive a very alarming text. I guarantee you that they won't be in school much longer. <laughs> I like that. Oh, there you go. Checking the phone or checking the palm of the hand and he's like, oh my fucking god And I think he's running home now or maybe he's just following me. Stop following me What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to send you home. Get away from me you freak Okay, so for some reason this guy is just not going home I guess I'm his home because he keeps running towards me But you know what this makes me think if I can get him to follow me like this Maybe I can request for someone to go home again 
and then I can have multiple people following me. So let me try that. Oh, this service can only be performed once per day. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so if you want to send somebody home, they check their text, they start running in place like this, bada bing, bada boom, they're no longer a threat to you. I want to try something real quick. I want to see what happens when we try to send Kakona home while she's like mid-call. So let's use what our services. Wait, I got to hide. I got to hide because I forgot about the eavesdropping shit. So there you go. She's talking on the phone. So let's use what the services. Team? Um, Saki Miyu, Kokona right there. I don't know why they're still silhouetted. So let's send her home. And the student is about to receive a very alarming text. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, it just stops the call I right told away. You not to call me when I'm at school. Wait, she's still talking on the like phone, actually. Like I said, that was a one time thing. Okay, so we can I glitch it out. Do that again. There you go. Can she notice me? She can still notice you. Uh, this is supposed to be a private conversation. Oh, never mind. We'll finish this another time. And then she goes back to school. All right, how about we try this? We have our bully victim right here, the evil girl, aka one of my favorite students. And we're gonna make sure she gets clapped in the head by the bullies. But mid eraser clap, I'm gonna send her home. Let's see if she just gets up and walks away or if she takes the bullying. Okay, so we got the last girl coming up right now. As soon as she starts clapping the head, there you go. Let's do the favor. Services. Send somebody home. And Yui Rio's right there, so bam, here we go. Okay, so she's getting up, and the girl's clapping her midsection. She's checking her text, and she's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, boys. All right, so check this out, guys. I got Saki Miyu following me right now. I got this girl still in the classroom, so I got my naifu ending a life. bam. And the reason why I want her here is because she's a teacher's pet. So she's going to go get a teacher right now, right? Or is she just going to go in the corner and curl into a little ball? Please don't. Please don't. Oh, there's been a dead academy. Hi, no. Hey, shh, shut up. I feel like this green-haired slime ball is a teacher's pet. Let me see. He is a social butterfly. What the actual fuck? Get out of my face. What about you? Social butterfly? Social fucking butterfly. Do they even have teacher's pets anymore? What about you, blondie? He's a social butterfly too. What the actual fuck? Who are the people who are gonna snitch on me when I end a life? I have no idea. Okay, so this blue frame four-eyed freak is actually a teacher's pet and he's exactly what I need. So let's get this shrimp dick to follow me. Why can't I talk to you? What's going on here? Oh, okay, there you go. I had to wait for him to finish posing or something. So let's ask a favor. But on me, please. And let's get down to business. Actually, before we do anything, what's his name again? Ryusei Koki. Okay, Ryusei Koki. Let's get all these bullies to get out the room and just wait for one. I think this should be good. And oh my god, I killed the wrong freaking guy. Damn it. I swear, guys, I did not do that on purpose. I was not trying to go after that guy. I was trying to go after the girl. You know what? We can actually do this right now. Hit this guy. Oh my god, multiple people saw me. Shit. All right, no more messing around, guys. Let me get this guy to follow me, please. And then we are going to make something happen because I want to see what happens. So let's go for Kudere. Oh my god, the placeholder girl. Okay, teacher's pet. Go get a teacher right now. His name was like Ryusei Koki or some shit like that. I saw a student attack someone. I think they're hey, dead. Lead me to them. All right, here they come, guys. Let me make sure I got enough panty shots. There we go. No, and... it can't be. Oh, she already saw it? Okay. So the guy's just going to stand in front of the body, right? So we are going to send him home mean? real quick. Ryusei Koki. There he is. Ryusei Koki. Let's send him home. Wait, he's I'll not doing the anything. Police immediately. He's just standing there still. There's been a death Wait, did I do it wrong? High school. Yeah, I did it right because right I can't away. click on this shit I, I, anymore. I, I, I can't provide that service right now. Wait a minute. Hold the phone here. Literally, hold the what phone, dude. Why are you running away? Where are you going? Stop what the fuck? Right now. Hold on. He is running super fast. He is going into his classroom. Oh my god, the teacher's coming. All right, boys and girls, let's try this for the last time, hopefully. So I got the guy following me right now. Gonna hit this from the back like that. And then he's gonna get the teacher. And what the hell kind of pose is that? Look like a downset hike type of pose. Okay, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, his what name was Ryusei Kiko. Something like that. Ryusei Koki. There you go. Send him home. This student is about to receive a very alarming text. I guarantee you that they won't be in school much longer. Okay, she guaranteed me. So he better be checking his phone right now or so. Help me God. Let's see here. Oh, he's leaving. This is a tragedy. Okay, there you go. Why would anyone do this? Did he leave or is he only leaving because he saw a dead body? He's gonna go in the classroom, right? Okay, so he's not really going home. I wanna try to make him go home, so we gotta make this work. So nobody else is here. So we got you right there. Drag the body inside the classroom and then we should be good to go. Okay, there you go. He's gonna go get a teacher. 
I'm gonna hide right behind here. And I know we're gonna make this work this time. All right, here we go. Guy's coming up before he even gets to the student. What Let me you? use the service, send the student home. Ryuse Koki, send home. And he is about to receive a very alarming text. He better. Let's see if he does. Nope. He's still kind of running. And he's still looking shook. So, was this just a prank? I don't think it's Wait. very funny. Don't waste my time like this again. Oh, shit. Are you serious? She was standing right in front of the body and she was like, you think this is a prank? So if I send a teacher's pet home right before they're about to show a teacher a body, then the teacher's gonna think it's a prank even though they're literally standing right in front of the body. That's pretty freaking cool. So the next thing that I wanna check out is the DDR machine and also the props to the photography club. This is the art club. I don't know what I'm doing in here. I get art and photography mixed up. I mean, they're the same thing, just different mediums. The photography club is right here. So can we actually play this? What does this say? It says, violent play is dangerous. Do not hold sharp objects during use. Why would you be holding sharp objects when you're trying to get your freaking dance on? But yeah, we can't use this yet, but it's slowly making its way over there. We got the art on the side of the box. We actually have something on the screen and I can't freaking wait. Hopefully we can actually dance on this thing and not just kill people on this thing. But yeah, guys, this is the new prop inside the photography club. And this is a new updated version of the DDR machine. I really want it to work. I really do. I don't want to end life who's on there. I want to freaking get my twinkle toes on. But the last thing that I want to check out on today's episode is the new headmaster tape. <laughs> but I have no idea where it would be because the first step. one is by the trash can right over You're here, guys. You no see good. that? I That's where the it. first tape is. The I'm second tape no is decision. somewhere where I have no idea. So we are going to try to find it right now. Okay, so we're back in his office at lunchtime. Let me see something real quick. So the first tape's in the trash can. Oh wait, there's actually two tapes, right? What the hell? Is that a second tape? Yeah, it is. It's a second tape. Okay, so there were two tapes inside the trash can. So let's listen to the second one. Huh? Oh, wow. I didn't realize how much dust was on this thing. Well, I suppose I should consider myself lucky. If I never use this thing, it means everything has been going so smoothly that I just never feel the need to vent. But... Something happened today that really threw me off. I wouldn't feel right talking about it with any of my colleagues, but I need to get it off my chest. So maybe recording my thoughts will help. <sighs> today I visited Psycho headquarters for a routine meeting with Mr. Psycho, just as I've done dozens of times over the past few years. But today was different. He was angry, foul-mouthed, and short-tempered. Kind of sounds like me. I'd never seen him like that before. He didn't reprimand me for anything, and we simply discussed the usual topics. But the entire time, he seemed like he was on the verge of exploding. I was confused and worried, and frankly, scared. His secretary must have seen how shaken I was, because after the meeting, she took a moment to assure me that I hadn't done anything wrong, and that Mr. Psycho was angry about a personal matter. On most days, I would never dream of gossiping about the man who signs my paychecks, but my curiosity got the better of me, and I asked her for details. Okay. She didn't know all the specifics, but she knew enough to give me a basic summary. Earlier that day, Mr. Psycho had a furious argument with his daughter, who graduated recently. Okay, let me pause this real quick. So in the first Headmaster tape, I made the assumption that Megami Psycho wasn't the girl that Mr. Psycho was building the school for. It was like Megami's older sister, the mysterious figure that's on the Yandere Simulator website. But a lot of you guys were like, no, that's not Megami's sister, that's Megami's aunt. But judging from this sentence, I might be right that it was Megami's older sister and Mr. Psycho's first daughter. Apparently, she doesn't want to inherit the company and she's decided to leave Japan to travel the world. This is absolutely unacceptable to her father, because he's invested a lot of resources into giving her the training necessary to take over his empire when he retires. He had absolute faith that his daughter would inherit his company when the time came, and her decision had invalidated all of his plans, along with many years of effort, not to mention an incalculable amount of money. After a long, heated discussion, well, more like a shouting contest from the sound of it, Mr. Psycho threatened to disown his daughter, and she had absolutely no problem with that. He told her, if you walk out that door, you're no longer a part of this family. And moments later, she left his office without a word. 
Mr. Psycho is a man who refuses to compromise and only accepts the results he wants. I'm 100% certain that from this day forward, his daughter is dead to him. The secretary told me a little more about the way Mr. Psycho raised his daughter. Starting from early childhood, she was given training to prepare her for the responsibilities that come with operating a company. Training that became more advanced and intense with each passing year. Mr. Psycho also has a son, but he didn't put his son through the same sort of training as his daughter. Instead, he granted his son a perfectly normal childhood, perhaps out of guilt for what he did to his daughter. Interesting. But now he's making preparations to rapidly change the direction of his son's life. So the boy will acquire the traits and skills that his sister spent her entire life developing. The strangest part is the exact reason why Mr. Psycho's daughter wants to travel the world. One phrase the secretary kept hearing was, My sister. Apparently, Mr. Psycho's daughter is absolutely convinced that she has a sister somewhere in the world, and that she needs to find her. Huh. But Mr. Psycho only has two children. So, if she says she has a sister, there are three options. She's speaking figuratively, she's actually become delusional, or... Mr. Psycho has an illegitimate child. Okay, so you know how I just said that a lot of you guys said that that wasn't Megami's sister, that was her aunt? Maybe you guys are onto something. Because maybe the boy, Mr. Psycho's son, grew up to be the father of Megami. And yeah, the girl that traveled the world is her aunt. But let's just keep going. I'm just trying to get my opinions out there because I might lose track of what I'm trying to say later. At this point, the secretary decided she'd said too much and stopped talking. I had a feeling I was starting to tread on dangerous ground, so I chose not to pry any further. A wise decision. Even though I wound up with more questions than answers, at least now I know why he was so angry. Losing his daughter, along with more than a decade of money, planning, effort, must be an incredibly painful experience. But after hearing all this, it'll be hard for me to look at him the same way I used to. He told me that he built Academy High to give his daughter the perfect, ideal high school life. But now I think that was just a cover story. Maybe. I think he built Academy High and made his daughter the student council president to put her through the experience of being in charge of an organization. The, the school wasn't a gift from a father to a daughter. It was just another component of her lifelong training, another, another step in the process of turning her into the perfect CEO. Uh... A training simulation. And now he's going to put his son through an accelerated version of that process. <sighs> Poor boy. It doesn't surprise me at all that she defied her father and ran away from all that. But in the end, it wasn't pressure or stress that made her reject her father's wishes. It was this weird notion that she has a sister. Maybe all the stress drove her crazy. The weirdest thing of all is that when I imagine Mr. Psycho with another daughter, I have a mental image of what she would look like. But I get a headache if I picture her in my mind for too long. Man, really creeps me out. If Academy High was built solely for one girl, and that girl has graduated, what happens next? I was afraid the school was going to be shut down, but... Apparently, Mr. Psycho just wants me to continue business as usual. A lot of the students who graduate from this school get offers from Psycho Corp almost immediately after graduation. So, I guess this place really did turn out to be a training ground for future Psycho employees after all. I don't feel angry or sad, just disenchanted. Well, it's an easy job, and I can't argue with the pay, so... I guess I'll just stay on my current course for now. Man. Even though I know that nobody is going to listen to this tape, I feel way better after recording my thoughts. <laughs> I guess Mr. Psycho's gift was good for something after all. Thanks for hearing me out, Mr. Tape Recorder. <laughs> With that said, I hope I don't have to use you again anytime soon. <laughs> okay. So, I feel like the main point of this tape was the fact that Mr. Psycho's first daughter graduated from Academy High, and then she's like, fuck this, I don't want to run the business, I don't want to be involved with Psycho Corp, I just want to travel the world and find my mysterious sister 
So let me see on the Yandere Simulator website if there's any new characters at all that could possibly be the sister. And I don't even know what the point of all that would be unless it was like related to Yandere-chan. But let's just check it out and see if there are any new characters. Okay, so right now we still have all the usual suspects. Got the police right there, nurse, Yandere-chan's mom, some old dude in a wheelchair. I feel like this is Mr. Psycho, the one that the headmaster's talking about. I feel like he's the original boss. And then this is the son. And yeah, this is probably Megami's aunt and not her sister like I originally thought. But I don't really see anybody else that's new. But yeah, there's no new characters in the Yandere Simulator website. Let me know what you guys thought about Headmaster Tape 2. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. Let me know if you think the girl who is traveling actually has a sister or if she's batshit crazy. Just let me know down low in the comments below what you guys think. And then we can have a conversation. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead. Dude!